There's one thing that I can tell you about this. It is much more aggressive in its transmission than anything that we have seen in recent history. It's probably more akin to the 1918 pandemic. Every company should be cognizant of the fact that um, you may have to alter your travel. You may have to look at your employees and judge whether the trip they're making to Europe is essential or whether it can be done on video conference. Why risk it? I want you to get in your car and I want you to drive down here to Atlanta right now. You hear me, Aubrey? What are you talking about? I want you to get in your car and leave Chicago. I want you to drive here to Atlanta. Drive by yourself. You do it. You do it now. Don't tell anyone and don't stop. And stay away from other people. You understand? Keep your distance from other people now. Call me when you're on the road, Aubrey. Roger. Did you hear? I got people too, Dr. Cheever. We all do. You're funny, because if you check on Facebook, you'll find a communique attributed to Dr. Cheever by Elizabeth Nygaard about the quarantine of Chicago, hours before it was announced to the public. That's why I think he's a bit disingenuous when he says equal care for all, and not just his friends. Some pretty wild allegations here, Dr. Cheever. I mean, can you tell us what communication appeared and when? Uh, what exactly is the nature of your relationship with Elizabeth Nygaard? Well, again, I'm not aware of anything attributed to me on any social media. I'm sure you're not. Facebook, it is Twitter. there. On March 19, 2020, NPR published a recording that they obtained of Senator Richard Burr, in which he told members of the Tar Heel Circle an exclusive group of North Carolina businesses and organizations, that they should be prepared for the coronavirus and reconsider travel to Europe. The senator made these statements on February 27, 2020. While he gave out this information privately, Senator Burr was striking a much different tone publicly. In a March 5th press release from his office, he asserted, quote, Luckily, we have a framework in place that has put us in a better position than any other country to respond to a public health threat like the coronavirus, end quote. This occurrence is not unlike the one portrayed in the 2011 film Contagion, directed by Steven Soderbergh. In the film, Dr. Ellis Shever of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention tells his girlfriend of a quarantine of Chicago hours prior to the information's public release. It's important to draw the distinction between who is carrying out what actions in the film versus those in real life. Dr. Cheever, a fictional character, worked for the CDC. Senator Burr is a member of the U.S. Senate. What we can say is that the two cases have in common is the public was given information only after it was shared with a powerful few, allowing those with prior knowledge to act on the information while others were left to feel the impacts of uninformed decisions. Subscribe to Colbert Classroom and be on the lookout for new videos.